Welcome to In Step with Fort Riley. I'm Scott Rhodes. The 1st Infantry Division has conducted its annual Best Medic Competition. The competition tests troops in multiple events, including a trauma lane, land navigation course, road march, and a stress shoot. Staff Sergeant Noel Gehrig with the 1st Infantry Division Public Affairs Office has the story. The top medic teams from the 1st Infantry Division put their skills to the test at the Best Medic Competition on Fort Riley. Five medic teams participate in multiple events, including a six-mile road march and stress shoot, but the competitors would agree that the trauma lane was the most challenging. Uh, the lanes, I feel like, are set up pretty good. They're very challenging. They have really heavy dummies, so it portrays a uh, soldier in his full kit. The patients that they use are are mannequins, but they are the ones that, that move, they gush blood, they do other things um, to simulate real life injuries, and they are very heavy. That was probably the most difficult portion of it all, is moving the patients from one place to another. One competitor tells us what it would mean to him to be selected as the top medic team in the division. I, you know, I try to be the best at my job, and I like to think that, especially coming out here and representing 2nd Brigade, that I'm proficient in my job, so just to represent one ID would be a great honor for me. The results of the competition will determine who moves on to represent the division at the Army Best Medic Competition at Fort Sam Houston. Sergeant Noel Gehrig, Fort Riley, Kansas. All right, thanks Sergeant Gehrig. Meanwhile, the results are in, and we congratulate Sergeant Rodriguez and Sergeant Torres, both of whom you just saw in that piece, on winning the 1st Infantry Division Best Medic Competition. The pair will represent the Big Red One during the Army's Best Medic Competition coming up October 25th through 28th in San Antonio, Texas. National Hispanic Heritage Month runs from September 15th through October 15th. It's a time to showcase and honor the many contributions Hispanic Americans have made to the Army and to our nation. Fort Riley hosted its Hispanic Heritage Month observance September 21st at Riley's Conference Center with Sergeant Major Francisco Gonzalez of the Division Surgeon's Cell as the featured speaker. The program also included a Hispanic musical tribute by the One ID Band. Let's take a listen. The Hispanic Heritage Month observance was hosted by the 2nd Armor Brigade Combat Team in cooperation with the 1ID Equal Opportunity Program. Halloween is coming up and it's never too early to start thinking about Halloween safety tips. Army MWR has some for you, including healthy food and snacking behavior and tips to help keep your child visible and safe out there in the neighborhood. For more information, visit this website www.armymwr.com slash halloween dash safety dot ASPX. Before we leave you today, here are three things you need to know. Fort Riley will hold its semi-annual post-wide yard sale on October 1st from 8 a.m. to noon. Sales are open to the public, but remember folks, you'll need to stop by the visitor center to gain access to post. Again, the post-wide yard sale coming up this Saturday from 8 to noon, and the visitor center is located just off I-70 at exit 301. Irwin Army Community Hospital is holding one more round of tours of the new facility prior to its official opening in mid-October. The tours will be held Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, October 3rd, 4th, and 5th. For more information or to sign up, visit the Irwin Army Community Hospital Facebook page. Retiree Appreciation Day is coming up October 21st at Riley's Conference Center. On tap are flu shots, retiree-specific informational booths, lunch, and drawings for gifts. Call Riley's at 784-1000 for more information. If you'd like more news and information about Fort Riley, we make it easy for you folks. Check out the 1st Infantry Division Post newspaper online at the web address on your screen or find a hard copy at a newsstand on or around Fort Riley. You can also find us on all the popular social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and Flickr. And don't forget these websites, mybaseguide.com and the Fort Riley website, at riley.army.mil. I'm Scott Rhodes, and folks, you're in step with Fort Riley. We'll see you next time.